Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's a new year. It's new year. Happy New Year. I haven't been uploading at all this month. This is my first video of the year, which I'm so excited about. I'm matching my extensions to my beachy, wavy, natural hair. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. And if you're new, hi, my name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel. I do vlogs, I do lifestyle, I do hair, I do sometimes makeup. But today I'm doing hair. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Very full, very big. Um, but this is what it looked like before. So if you guys want to keep on watching and see how I transform my hair, definitely do that. Um, but yeah, let's just get started with the video. I'm gonna take my hair out of my scrunchie. Um, this is my natural hair. Super, super curly insanely curly I think so the goal is to match my hair extensions to my natural kind of beachy wavy curly hair so that's what we're gonna do my hair extensions are super super long they're from Foxy Locks highly recommend them my favorite they last me so long this is the fifth year Going on five years, I've used the same ones. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend these. This is the 24 inch sandy blonde set. And then I have another set that's like custom. I got them in sandy blonde too, but then I also like took them to a hairdresser. I'll show you. I come to the hairdresser and she like matched my hair to them a long time ago. And then the blonde is, I toned it and stuff. So I'm doing a mix of these hair extensions just like the plain blonde ones because i love blonde highlight hair you know what i mean i don't know i think it looks really good and so i'll show you guys how to do it super easy all you really need is a curling iron i'm using my numi wand this came in a set though i want to say there was eight in them and there's like different barrels and stuff so i'm just using i think this is half an inch i could be totally wrong but I think it is. Unless you have like my exact like curl pattern size, you would obviously use a different barrel because it might be too big or too small or you know what I mean? So that's just what I'm using today. First thing I like to do is center my part in the middle just to make it a little more easier. There's a mirror right behind the camera. So if I'm looking over there, that's what I'm looking at. I don't like to brush my hair when I'm matching my curls with my hair extensions because I, I find that my hair gets frizzy at the bottom, which I don't want. I want to keep this curly rat's nest, basically. What I do is I, obviously I brush the hair extension itself and then I clip it in and then from there I like do the wand. So for my first hair extension, I'm going to do how I normally clip in my hair extensions. I'm going to take the two clip weft first. I want length. I love length. So that's what I'm going for right now. So I'm going to take this one and clip it at the nape of my neck. Oh, another thing is I do not tease my hair I don't put any hairspray in the only thing I do put in my hair is this um, prep rally prime and prep detangler um, it's from dry bar it looks like this I love this stuff um, it's also a heat protector up to 450 degrees which I love okay so now that the hair extension is in I part it this way you guys can see like obviously my hair does not match whatsoever which is fine all good so what we're gonna do is take our natural hair the curly parts and just kind of separate them from my hair extension and we're just going to take little tiny pieces just like that because that's like basically the size of my curl we're gonna take our wand and just kind of go and then I like to curl it up like that I hold it there for like 15 seconds Okay, once it's out, I like to uh, hold it there like a little bit, 
make sure it matches your other ones and then we're gonna pick apart so it looks more natural so that's like the last part though. so we're gonna do the same exact thing push these to the side get another little tiny piece okay that one is done i like to leave you guys can't see this but the ends i like to leave out i don't like like a spiral one completely i like to like leave them out to like make it look like this hairstyle is like very effortless. That's what I want the look to go for. Obviously this takes time to do. It's kind of annoying, but the outcome is really good. And the reason why I don't put my natural hair in with the extension is because I am trying to do no heat on my real hair. Obviously you can, I just choose not to. Okay. So once it looks like this, what you're gonna wanna do is take the curl and just pull it apart. This makes it look a lot fuller and more effortless, I think. Yeah, you just pull it, pull it, pull it. Sorry, my camera's in the way and I literally can't see. And you just pull this one. I mean, it's fine if you get your real hair in it. I just don't like to, but Curl it up and away from you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop it. All right, so this is what the difference looks like. So this side is like fuller, this side's like. We don't want this side, we want this side. So we're just gonna pick them apart once again. Make them look effortless, like we literally just rolled out of bed, you know what I mean? We just got back from the beach. Alright, cool. First section is done. So when one section is done, I just put it in the back of my head, grab a new hair extension, and just repeat the same exact steps. I just put it in a whole new hair extension and this this is all curly this is what I have to curl what I like to do is just take what is already curled push it in the back and just focus on what I need to curl I did the three clip weft now I did two now I'm doing three um, and then I always leave my hair in front of my ear out I don't know why I do this I just I do um, so we're gonna do the same exact thing but a new F. So I'm just gonna speed through this. Yeah. <laughs> Something I forgot to say was I alternate my curls um sometimes i do it this way sometimes i do it that way um my curls itself are so random so whatever comes to mind first it's the direction i go also if you have like different kinds of curls you can use different barrels obviously however i'm too lazy for that i just use one barrel and then if i know like a section is more bigger than the other I'm gonna show you guys the back and what it looks like now. Obviously these hair extensions are way too light for my hair. The color of my hair it used to be though. So now what I'm gonna do is do another hair extension. I'm gonna do two more at the base and then I'm gonna work right here because this is always like my trouble area. This is like where it either makes or breaks the hair look, um, I think. It's like, you need a, it's your face. Like you need to be able to, and I frame your face. Also, when I wear my hair like this, I like to do a side swoop. I think it looks way better. For right now, I have to do a middle part just to, so I know where to put everything. That's, I don't know why I do that, I just, I do. On to the next hair extension.
For pieces higher at the top, what I like to do is use my darker rooted ones because obviously blonde doesn't match the top of my head. So what I'm going to do is use just this um, darker ombre one so it blends a lot better. But yeah, I think it's coming along pretty good. So yeah, this is going to be my last one in the back and then I'm going to work on these top framing pieces. Okay, now that the base is all done, I don't like to go too far up with my hair extensions because obviously I don't want them to show. Yeah, they're blending pretty good right now. My hair looks like a lion's mane, I know. Um, but yeah, so now we're gonna work up. Um, I really, really don't need any more, but I like to add more because I'm just so extra. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna just add four more at the top, one clip left. So this is basically I have left, two clip wefts, um, my ombre ones, and then I have one of the long ones. I've had another one, I just don't know where it went. And then two of the ombre ones, obviously, for the top of my head. Also, I tone these, that's why they look kind of white at the bottom. I love the icy look. Um, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I do the rest of this. So what I want to do with these two wefts, two clip wefts, is I put one on this side. This is the side I like to have the most hair on. I literally just take my nail and go from my end of my eyebrow straight back. But I like to put the clip, the back clip in first and then this clip and right here should look like that there should be like a little hair right there so no one knows i curl this this is just for volume at the top obviously there's no more length with these because i've fried them i've had this set for like seven years six or seven years so this has definitely lasted me a very very long time and this is also kind of like highlights because at the top of my head it's very dark. Good. Usually just do it for like five seconds with that. And then pull it all apart. Flip the hair over. Can't see anything. One clip left now. So on this side I like to do one of the blonde one and this one. Do like that. Sometimes I stack them, sometimes I don't stack them. I might stack. I don't really know. Just depending how good I can hide this one. Good. And this one I like to put really, really close to the center of my head, but more towards the front. So it looks like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna curl it once again. But this time I do these like away from my face, so it kind of frames my face. Okay, so you guys can see this side is definitely way more fuller than this side. This side you can kind of tell like where my hair extension stops. This side you cannot. Um, so I'm just going to add a couple more hair extensions on the side. Maybe two more if that. I know I keep saying it, but I mean it this time. So I'm going to do the two clip left once again. And then just one of the brown ones at the top. Also, if you guys noticed, I don't bring the curling iron all the way to the top like I was doing with the base. Um, just because at the top of my hair, it's like not curly curly. Um, and then it goes to curls. So that's kind of why I'm trying to like mimic what my natural hair does 
to, oopsies, to the hair extension. So once again, pick apart, pick apart, pick apart. Flip over. Now one more. Last one. And once again, like I said, I brushed all these out beforehand. So it would save me time. This can go right here. Once again, go away from your face for the ones near your face. Always go away. You guys can spray it or whatever. I don't spray anything because it just sticks in my head. So done. I'm gonna show you guys the back, what it looks like. All fluffy, curly, that's what I like. And then normally I go like this, hide the top hair extensions. I probably move this one more down just because I wear my hair mostly like this. Yeah. So that is it for today's video. I really got, I hope you guys like it. I normally don't share what my real hair looks like. I'm obsessed with this. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. It would help me tremendously. And I'm so excited for this new year and just a new year. Like new year, same me, different hair, obviously. But yeah, if you guys like hair videos, I love them. I love doing them. Let me know and I'll do more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.